We need to understand that Jesus never meant for us to hold on until the end. You know, I hear people all the time, Pastor, pray for me. I'm just holding, pray that I hold on. Well, I tell people, don't hold on, let go. Because the moment that you let go, you fall into the arms of a loving Savior who knows how to get you where you need to go. Stop holding on and start advancing for what God has because God desires for the church to be a militant church. And you're not going to hear this message at first church today, but uh, I hope today you go out of here radicalized. I'm trying to radicalize some people in the body of Christ to rise up and understand what God has placed on the inside of them because the Bible says in 1 John 5, 4, whatever is born of God, and if you've been born again in the family of God, you have a new nature, and that nature is an overcoming nature. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So I want you to turn to somebody next to you and I want you to tell them, you're an overcomer. <laughs> is that the best you got? <laughs> I mean, I couldn't turn to somebody next to me and say, you're an overcomer. You're an overcomer. I mean, when I say it, I've got to say I'm Italian. I know. I, 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 we're passionate people by nature. But, I mean, I've got to say you're an overcomer. You've got to feel. In other words, we've got to encourage people that are down in the dumps today, those that are discouraged, those that are distracted, because most people today are calling Sister Susie, and they're telling them all the problems they have in their lives, and then Sister Susie is telling them all the problems they have to try and top the problem that they just heard. Because misery loves company, right? But how about us being encouragers and exhorters? And when we hear someone that out of the abundance of their heart, they say things that maybe they're going through a difficult time, and I'm not making light of that if that's you today. But I want you to know today that you were born of God to overcome whatever situation it is that you are facing. You're called to overcome disappointment. Does disappointment come? I deal with it every week. And I say, bring it on. I know it's going to come, but I've got to overcome disappointment. Does poverty show up sometimes in our lives? We've got to overcome it. Does disease show up sometimes in our physical body? You better believe it. My three grandkids were attacked with this flu that's going around right now, and I'm, I'm confessing it's going around them now and not touching them in Jesus' name. You've got to learn how to overcome when something comes upon your body. Don't be so quick to receive every report that the doctor says and take it as your own. Say, you know what? Thanks for sharing that, doc, but I'm not taking that from myself. I'm rebuking that. And by the way, I've got a divine physician in heaven, and his name is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord thy God who heals me. And I say, by his stripes I was healed. Appropriate. Take it force of what God has given you. That's what a militant church does. We've got to overcome depression. We've got to overcome obstacles. Do we have opportunities to get depressed and discouraged? We do. But I learned a long time ago, I can either take the opportunity or I can reject it and say, no, that's not for me. I'm not receiving that today.